Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Tonight we're having the opening of our juried portrait show. Uh, this is a show that we have annually. This year our juror is Liz George Massey. Um, she had reviewed over 160 entries for this show and she had selected the 30 that are in the show. These artists come from all over the island. We even have one of the artists that comes from Sweden that entered the show. So we're very excited that our reach has obviously gone beyond Long Island. There were only three awards, so that made it very difficult. One best in show, which really deserves it, and two others. And one is a pastel and two oils. I could see by the painting that the artist has a talent, uh, a flair for their medium, be it pastel, um, charcoal, pencil, or oil. And um, also, uh, they know their technique. It's just a joy to sit and paint. You know, you can get lost, and then when you come back, you're refreshed, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful place to be. And I'm sure all these artists feel the same way. Today I have two pieces, um, and this piece in particular, um, it's part of a series that I did down in Islip called The Eight Faces of Islip. And this is the first fellow that I picked and I just wanted to depict everyday faces from my town. And Jimmy is, he's a janitor um, at the local high school and he's also at uh, the, the church on Main Street. And so I said to him, uh, I'd love to have you come pose. And there's a bit of a funny story behind it in that I said, I'm gonna paint you and could you grow your hair longer? I waited eight months to paint him so he looked like uh, Moses descending from the mountain and I loved his big rich beard and so I had a lot of fun painting that beard. I think the thing that inspires me, as, as simple as it may sound, is people's eyes. Um, it's, it's funny, ever since I was a boy, the way that somebody's eyes can tell you that they're going through pain or if they have a really wonderful secret that they're hiding, um, I really enjoy you know, something that's buried in there and kind of like calling it out, so to speak. This piece is a portrait of my niece and it's all done in pastel. Everything's inspiring. I do landscapes, portraits, still lifes, and um, I enjoy teaching very much. So, uh, I, everything's inspiring. How did I get started? My first job was at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And I used to wander the, the great halls, and I used to be so inspired by the old masters, Rembrandt and Sargent. And the last place, and I just, that I have to learn how to paint like this. This particular piece is my art teacher's wife. And I just took a picture of her one day and I just, when I saw it, I said, oh, that would be a great portrait. And I know her so well, so I knew how to render the portrait based on the photograph. Most of the work is from a theme that I call the myths of man, which is my interpretation of some of the great faces and the great humans of the world, such as, Mikhail. Mikhail is an inspiration from the Napoleonic Wars. He is the general who actually defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Moscow. So um, I was inspired by all the different people that we know as names, and I choose to put faces and bring humanity and emotion to those names. The inspiration is standing right here. Uh, this is a picture I've been wanting to do of him for five years, and I finally did it this uh, spring. And we are so pleased to be here. This is wonderful to see it accepted in this beautiful show. And I'm very honored to have my very special guy here. The juried portrait show is just one of our juried shows. We have a juried landscape, juried photography, juried still life. We have a printmaking show. We have a show just for our high school students. It's called our High Art Showcase. We also have a Nightmare on Main Street show for students from kindergarten through 12th grade, and that's around Halloween, and that's a very exciting show.